Okay, this is 3.8a of algebra. So we're going to talk about sets again, <clears throat> and we're going to look at multiple sets together. So the union of two or more sets is when you combine everything that are in the sets. So let's say I have one set that has 1, 3, and 5. And I have another set that has 1, 2, 3. The union, so I'll call this one A and this one B, the union, and we use a U between them, so the union of A and B, we stick all of the numbers back together into one set. But, just like when we were talking about sets originally, I don't like to have to write the number multiple times. That's too much work. So, they both have one in their sets, but I'm just going to write one once. In B, there's the number two, so I'll put two in here. Both of them have three, so I'll put three. And A, the set A had five. So that would be my union. I list everything that was in both sets. Okay. <clears throat> so here's just another example. If your left pocket, in your left pocket, you have a quarter, a paper clip, and a key. In your right pocket, you have a penny, a quarter, a pencil, and a marble. So it's written out over here. So the set... This is what is a set that represents the different items in your pockets. So we're going to find the union of what's in both pockets. And we list it out. Notice that they both had a quarter in it. Right? There's a quarter here and a quarter here. And you only list the quarter once. So let's try our got it problem. Oh, first I want us to say, write sets P and Q in ros below in roster form. Right? Because right now they're in set builder notation. So, P is equal to, it says X such that X is a whole number less than 5. So remember, whole numbers are positive numbers and 0. So if it's less than 5, I'll start with 4, 3, 2, 1, and this time I can include 0. And if I find the roster form for Q it says Y such that Y is an even natural number. Remember that a natural number is a positive number. So an even natural number less than 5. So 4 is even and natural, 2 is even and natural, and that's all. So then finding the union, sorry, yep, the union of those sets. My U is kind of funky. Here we go. I'm going to list what they both have in them. So 0, I'm going to, well, we'll go big and small. 4, because they both have 4. 3 is in P. They both have 2. 1 is in P. And 0 is in P. So there we go. I listed the items that were in both sets. Okay, <clears throat> so the intersection of two or more sets is the things that they share, that they have in common. So if I had a set A that had 1, 2, and 3, and I had a set B that has 0 and 1, the intersection of A and B is kind of like we're doing like an upside down cup. That's the way I think of it. So it's whatever they overlap that I join together. The only thing they have in common is 1. So that would be the intersection. And our last vocab word, disjoint sets, are sets that have no elements in common. So if A was 2, 4, 6, and B was 1, 3, 5, they don't have any numbers in common. Okay, so let's try our got it problem down here. So they listed out A, B, and C. So A is in roster form, B is in roster form. But C is in set builder notation. So I'm going to rewrite it. It says N such that N is an odd whole number. So remember, whole numbers includes 0, but 0 isn't odd or even, so I'm not going to use it. But so 1 is odd, 3 is odd, 5 is odd. 7 is odd, 9 is odd, and I would keep on going forever, right? I just need to know what numbers 
are similar with these ones. These ones only go up to eight, so I'm good only going up to nine. Okay, so what is the intersection of A and B? So what numbers do A and B have in common? So they both have two, and they both have eight, but that's it. So the intersection of A and B is two and eight. The intersection of A and C um, is nothing. They don't share anything. So that's going to be our empty set, remember, or our null set. So I can either, I'll just leave it as empty brackets there. And then what is the union of C and B? So they share the number 5 and 7. And that's it. There's your homework.